Welcome back to the Double Knotted Podcast, a sneakers podcast for the average consumer. I am your host, Colin Riquez. I'm always joined by my guys, my co-host, Anthony Torres. What is up, sir? How you doing? Chilling, man. Chilling. Just good. Another, another day. Beautiful, mushy Tuesday. Yeah, the snow is coming down. But well, I, I don't, I don't mind. Even... It was actually, it was pretty easy to clean up. Yeah, because it was, it was like that heavy snow. Yeah. 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 yeah I got that, that little lower back pull. <laughs> I need a massage. A lumbar. Right Valid. Lumbar. Wow. All right. We're coming in early with the vocab. Anatomy. An- no, anatomy. Excuse anatomy. me. Anatomy. Anatomy. Oh. Anatomy. Anatomy. Oh, anatomy. Gosh. But we can't forget about our guy, Tim O, as well. Well, go on. Well, go on. Oh, man. Timbo Slice. Now, I got a good episode today, man. You know, a lot of stuff came my, out. One of my coworkers started calling me that. Timbo Slice? Yeah. And I was like, Timbo Slice. Uh, Kuma used to call you that. Kuhn Lane Inn. Never really held, but like it was a, it was a one or two. It kind of held. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah. It's a, it's a good one. I would hold on to that if I was you. Timbo Slice? All right. Like, yeah. like his alter ego. Like if he's fighting out there. I need to Max Wien. I need to Max Wien. I need to Max Wien. Gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Busy Tuesday. I see we got both iterations of the Bread 4 on our, on our table here. Yes. It's getting full here, man. Have you worn these yet, Tim? You worn these yet? Um, I wore them today. What? Yeah. Which ones? The the reimagined. I can I can applaud Tim though for keeping his word because his he actually did say I'm gonna dog them. Yes. So. Yeah. Good job, man. I appreciate it. Of course. Is this day one of thirty, Tim. Yes. Wait. So the pair that you wore on the snow is on the coffee table. <laughs> I didn't wear them. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Nope. Yeah. No, no, no. I like wiped them down before he came in. <laughs> I wore I wore them inside the house. I wore my Crocs <laughs> outside. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's fair. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, now New York, New York weather is a little mushy. What's right your now. Uh, your thoughts once you got them in hand? Immediately, like I take back my word and say in saying that it was better than the 2019 pair. Oh, I mean, of course, yeah. that was oh, of course, yeah. But, it you know. it feels better from like comfort level because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. i think that's what that's with the new like sb4 type of padding so mm-hmm. it feels better but that pair on the right is still better well they're left the, they're left they're left they're left yeah. <laughs> yeah that new that new book pair is like undefeated well that's it th- i've even i saw someone do like a hand-to-hand matchup and like first they show the leather four and i'm like wow that shoe looks nice mm-hmm. and they show the new book four and i was like damn yeah, like that. That's the one. That's the one. Like you just, it's never gonna live up to that. Mm-hmm. But it's a good shoe. I did put it on, and it definitely did feel a little more sporty. Mm. But like in a basketball sense, and obviously it's not a basketball shoe, so that didn't really make sense to me. Mm-hmm. You know, but yeah, that's just me. So I have a question for you, Tim. Now that you have them in person and in hand, is a multiple pairs needed still? Are you backing that statement still? The quote was. Six pairs. Yeah, six pairs. It was not six. It was three. I think it was six. I think it was, it was. It was a lot of pairs. If it was six, it was probably three for the. Four, Actually, you know what? Let me take that back. The quote was, "I need every pair I can get." Yes. <laughs> I need every pair I can get. Every single pair I can get. I need yeah, every single pair I can. That get. nigga got money. That was the actual <laughs> yes. quote. Yes. I have video proof. <laughs> we have proof of that. Run that back. Run that back. <laughs> um. Yeah. I think I'm gonna still keep the three. Okay. Wait, the three, the three leather or the two leather, one new book. Three leather. How many new book do you have? Just one. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. I was about to be that guy and be like, "How many new book do you have?" And I, you were gonna say zero. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gave them to to Kyle. Yeah. I but got you, my pair. But you regretted back. giving them away. Well, no. Like anything, I'm a boomerang kind of sneaker collector. I then got them back. Yep. And then I was like, eh. and then I traded them to Ja. Shout out Ja. I think this is his first shout out on the podcast so far during round 17. Mm-hmm. But um, <laughs> traded him the Bread Fours in amazing condition Second. for the Red Thunder Fours. Mm-hmm. Round 17? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. What, uh, Wait, you traded him what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of a hypey trade towards. Wait, no, say is the it? trade again. A little bit. The Red Thunder Fours. A little bit. Just straight up. Yeah. There's something wrong. I had so many pairs of those. You know what happened? Um, <laughs> I was so confused too when I did the trade. He was just so happy. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, he, like he's never really overly excited. And this guy's like, yeah, Bro. man, like you're the best, you're my guy. And I'm just like, <laughs> that man's what? that man's the sneaker like fleecer of the century. Remember Bro. how he used to tell us about his boy? Yo, every time he's like, yeah, I got these top threes, legit check, fifty bucks. And I'm like, what? What? <laughs> what? 
Swear to God, like what? black toes, what, 60, 70 bucks. Yeah. He would come in with like some random fire. And he's like, yeah, my man's needing money. And I'm just like, yeah, you're, you're taking advantage of the Clearly he didn't need enough. <laughs> yeah. How many favors did this man have to do, man, like to get that price down? No, no, not Sheesh. favors. The word is robberies. How many robberies <laughs> did he commit? Gosh. Yo, it was crazy. It was oh, crazy. But I, I've been there. I've done that. Shout out Jalen Wilkins. We love you. <laughs> that's a crazy shot. Bro, that's my guy. I just used to take, oh, God. Every time it'd be like a school field trip, he would need money. I mean, Jalen, what you got for me? <laughs> He'd be like nine pairs of it. I'll give you sixty oh bucks. Oh my lord! And he'd be like, "Yo, you freaking robbing me!" And I'm like, "Do you want to go to Universal or not? Oh my Do Adventureland. God. You want to go to Adventureland or not?" Bruh. Hey man. Straight finesse and high school tours, man. I, f- I feel like we would get along in, in high school if we were in the high school at the same time. No, tours. I definitely had like you know like those like uh, Disney Channel shows where like there's that one guy that like opens his jacket and there's like Capri Suns, Hershey bars. Yeah. Like that was like my kind of vibe okay. in high school. Oh, so you, you were know? the scalper. The the I don't know what that means. That means you're just finding money wherever you can get it. At the time. Yeah, at the time. I don't want to age shame myself and go like totally off topic, but like what I did in high school was I'd burn CDs for kids. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. No, seriously, like I'd make like mixtapes and I'd be like, oh, yo, like this is like, you remember what they're playing on like Hot 97 at like 9, 10 p.m.? I can get that on a CD for you like later this week. And they'll be like, yo, how much can be like, yo, 15 bucks? It's so awkward. No, I don't. No, seriously. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't. What do you mean? You don't know about burning CDs? I do, but like tuning in to Hot 97 at 10 o'clock, that's just foreign to me. Because I, I had, I def, my dad was a DJ too. So we always wow. had hundreds of CDs mm-hmm. on deck when that was the time. And then once that came over, my cousin was very like inclined like that. So he was a big like LimeWire guy. Okay. okay. So he would just give me like a big ass iPod with thousands of songs so i'd never really needed to do all that sure. yeah no but i stayed listening to akon for years akon's a <laughs> goat man he really is no complaints here akon is a goat yeah akon is a goat you know? but um big news today guys um just announced for holiday 2024 black cement 3 reimagined i think i need about three pairs yeah that's i mean <laughs> I, I saw the comments on the on the thing, and people were like, "My black cements are already reimagined." Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just gonna, it's just gonna be a yellow, uh, yeah, yellow midsole, and I'm just like, "That's literally." I saw the mock up, and I was like, well, yeah. "That is quite literally what my pair looks." But like. But that's just the mock up. Like, you know, there's so True. many times we get excited over mock ups. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, I remember the worst one was a shattered backboard 3.0. We're just gonna leave right there. We're not even gonna dive into that. Um, yeah, how do you feel about that shoe? The 3.0. Yeah, shouldn't have been made. It's paper mache. Man, that shoe has made some waves in the hood. Financially. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say that shoe hasn't made me a lot of money, mm-hmm. but like, no, not at all. Not not, at all. How many times have you worn it? I've never owned it. That's exactly my point. Exactly my <laughs> Kyle? Oh, uh, no. Yeah, no. He didn't, Kyle, there's no games in that answer. He just straight up yeah, said, he was, not a He was smiling before. Like, that shoe. <laughs> you he asked really it. <laughs> Bro, like, nope. that Chris Paul me with Steve Quir, like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but what were we talking about? The the oh, black, cement three. Three black cement three reimagined. What were we? What was I going on about? Oh, uh, Kyle said he needs three. I said I need as many as I can get in Tim fashion. That's unfortunate. I don't know. I don't know where my thought was. Supposedly, it's going to be the same cut as the white reimagined pair. So if you like that cut of that silhouette, it's gonna be more geared towards the OG from what I was reading. Do you have those? Is there oh, the white ones? No, mm-hmm. I don't have the. Is there a difference? Ones. I have. It. There's a lot of you have. Them? Yeah, really? I didn't. I didn't feel the difference. I'm uh for the whites and men's. I think the best one was the uh that '88 pair with the translucent bottom. I don't. That was a nice pair. I love that pair. That, that was a nice pair. Like the the one that came out the free throw line. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. that's 2018. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice pair. It's a great pair. Um, I don't know. I don't like translucent. But like that, that's just, what I'm going like. It just never goes well for me. Really? Yeah. I like doing it because if like, say you go to a basketball game by accident and you step on the court by accident, and you step on the court by accident or whatever, you just get a squeak. I I just love that. Okay. So Translucent bottoms get are just where it's at. Oh yeah, get your squeak on. Get your squeak on. Get your squeak on. Fair enough. But yeah, I mean, the, 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 yeah. yeah. So I kind of want to pose this question. Um, it's because of the reimagined. You know what I mean? They have like all black leather on this um bread four. Would you still cop if it was an all new buck three? Yes, hundred percent. That would be a three pair for me. That would be a to three. Tim's pair. reaction. I'm curious because like they could either you know just put out a regular black cement three, 
but in typical, you know, Jordan brand fashion. Knowing them, it's going to be mesh, bro. A mesh would be <laughs> nuts. Nuts. A mesh would be nuts. I did like the flying at fours that they used to do, though. Okay. All right. Sorry. We're making people mad today. Sheesh. Let me stop talking. God. But like no. the, the Like the bright, like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Those are awful. Those are loud. I love them. Those love them. Why don't you Spike Lee wears them to the Nick games all the time. Yeah. Spike Lee's also like old as dust. Okay, I mean, you know, he's trying, to, he's trying to keep up with trends. But will the trend? So first, the the new book three is a definite cop if that was to come out. No. That's it. That's no hesitation. I'm pulling. But no. I also currently in my sneaker position, I'm a very like I don't necessarily buy for me. I buy for who I was three years ago, sort of kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Sort of going back. What did I like? How did I feel? Three years ago, I would. S- I wouldn't say three years ago. I'd probably say like. Like as a kid, like, like five to six years ago. I'm saying, like, I'm, I would say eight years, five ago. and under. But like the the point I'm connecting it to is finding out that Mayor and Jay Z had the new Buck Three sample, and I just thought that was so cool. Mm-hmm. Mayor did one of those things. Only one of three in existence. To my knowledge, to my knowledge, there's exists. only one of three out there because <laughs> you know they report the inventory to you. <laughs> um, so that's just really cool mm-hmm. to to have that kind of shoe. I would definitely acquire it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know? So, yeah. Uh, if it uh, new buck is on a three, yeah, reimagined. Nah, it is. It is reimagined. Not, yeah, not, that's what I'm saying. Well. It's probably gonna end up being that. Honestly, uh, new buck. Yeah, but it can't be the new buck like that. Uh, that one, the royal one. No, it can't. Oh, that yeah, was no, 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 no. swayed at that point. That, that was, was swayed. Yeah. It's. I don't know if you guys ever seen like restored new buck. A lot of restorers they'll burn it because it gives it that sort of stiffer. First okay. out of the box look, yeah. but then you touch it and it doesn't doesn't like, like yeah. play as much. You know what I mean. Yeah. So it needs to be quality, but not too long. It's it's a very minute sort of point where it has to be. Mm-hmm. You know, but I I, I think know. they'll do something cool. Yeah, you want to know what's so funny? Before that, I was I hit you up and I was like, yo, like sneakers is boring right now. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. there was nothing going on this week, and then of course they dro- they dropped that and um. Cortez 95s. Mm. Yeah. Black and yellow. But I, I mean. You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'm just not a Cortez 95 guy, so that doesn't really get me going. Not going to lie. I know that that's you. That's your rum, Tim, right there. Why are you yeah. lying on this on the camera right now? What do you mean? Bro, I put up a poll on the account. Because the options were cop or cop. No, no, no. That was the options on the other poll. What do you mean? That was the options on the other poll. On the Cortez 95 one I put up, it was cop, drop, I don't even know what this is. Oh, for the Cortez 95? Yeah, and you put cop. You know what it is? I played Kahoot at work today. <laughs> so <laughs> I had it rewired in me to answer as quick as possible. But, yeah, I mean, that's because also retail is going to be, what, two-something? No. Yes. Like 180. I, 180, so. Tax and then after shit. tax? Uh, uh, I don't know. I yeah. can't do the math anymore. Two-something. I probably cop to resell, to be honest, or I'll sell it to Tim. Yeah, fair. We enough. could work out a nice trade. Fair enough. Um, black cement threes are two twenty though, two twenty five. So retail price came out, no pictures. What? The of the black cement three. Both came out, pictures. Well, no pictures. Actually, yeah, you're right. You're right. My bad. Leaked image, like the the mock up rather. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, two twenty five. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's yeah. But, I mean, who knows? It could be something really close and they do something dumb, like, mm-hmm. you know, put that Air Jordan with the with the black toe that they're doing. Right. I, I like this game. You, we really have no idea what's going to happen. I feel like that's what makes – I feel like that's what sneakers should be. Like, just drop, yeah. like, a name of a shoe and then leave it, like, maybe, like, to, like, two but, weeks. Want to know, know what would be crazy? If they just said, yo, this is coming out next week, no pictures at all. And then it's just like <laughs> – That's impossible, though. It's – there's true, so many true. different layers that need to mm-hmm. keep quiet yeah. that it's just impossible. Would but imagine. Stuff like that, though, the only downside about that is, like, tying it back to the Shadow Back 4 3.0 oh. is, like, you get people hyped. Yeah. Like, remember, even, like, there was a pair of fours coming out. It was white. It was or- it, w- it wasn't even white. It was an off-white. It was an orange. It was black. And we're all like, oh, my God, is this, like, a Shattered Back 4 4? Mm-hmm. It was the Starfish 4. Yeah. Do you remember how nice all those mock-ups were? There were some nice mock-ups of that shoe. Mm-hmm. And then this is what we got. Right. Was, Same thing, Reimagine World 1. 
Huh? It was the material that did us dirty. If it was just black, and they kept the same color blocking. There was a there's a lot wrong with it. <laughs> yeah. I don't think any of it was right. You just have to think now that like you know what you think will come out nine times out of ten will not come out. Yeah. That's the problem. Which to tie back to like that's kind of fun. Like I don't think sneakers could ever really be born, especially like the more you know, it's just the more like you don't. Do you know what I mean? Like the more informed you can make your decision is also just like that much more wrong you could be. Hmm. Yeah. That's fair. I guess I see what you mean. That's fair. I guess I see what you mean. But yeah, I just think it, it correlates too with how like deep you are into it. Cause like, I don't know like what's fun for you. Like for me, fun things like learning stuff, like watching a random YouTube collection, and then they're like, mm-hmm. "Yeah, I got this pair for my dad. He got it from this guy." And there's a story about this. Like I remember when I stumbled upon um, Russ Bankson and DJ Clark Kent's sneaker talk show that they had. Yes. And they talked about the Butterscotch nine nine seven. Mm. And like I've never heard about this shoe. I saw the pictures and I'm just like, Yo, this is this is crazy. Mm-hmm. Like this is so nice. Like just finding a random shoe that you like that's that's the gold in it for me. Yeah. And there's an endless supply of stuff to learn about. True. Oh yeah, no, hundred percent. Like, I don't know. I just think that like maybe like you could find sneakers boring if like you have other interests that are not sneaker related. Yeah, that's how you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know what I'm into, like, you know, I like photography. I could take pictures of shoes all day. Like, I don't find, you know, I'm still affiliated with shoes that I do that, but then I also run, mm-hmm. and, like, I love the tech side of the shoes. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah. like, you know, like, if you shave off a certain ounce off a shoe, then you're like, yo, it makes you run faster and it feels good on your feet. And, like, the thing, too, also, is, like, having it in hand, like, just mm-hmm. feeling the shoe mm-hmm. and just feeling, like, the product itself. Like, you just get excited. Yeah. But, like, with everything nowadays where it's a raffle. Or it's a drop. Like, I can't even get shoes. Like, I can only get running shoes, but, like, these type of shoes, I can't feel them in person. I can't feel them in hand because everything's via raffle or, like, it has to be shipped to me. Yeah. And then I have to wait for it, for the shoe to come in, you know, what, two weeks, a week and a half after, and then make my decision if I actually, like, get excited about the shoe. Yeah. That's so. True. That's why I think it's fun sort of going into, like, those lower-tiered everyday stores like the Foot Lockers, the Champs, the JD Sports because, like... I don't think we're as knowledgeable about what's going on there versus like a kith or end or something like that. So walking in and not really knowing what's going to happen, not seeing what's going to, not knowing what's going to sit and then just come across like, these came back out? Or like, this is a cool colorway? Or you know, you know what I mean? You're like talking about walking into a foot locker? Yeah. <laughs> Cap, bro. It depends what kind of lens you have on it. Like, I oh. forgot what shoe was there last, oh, last time it was there, it was the, um, Oh, I forgot the name of the brand, but it's a Puerto Rican brand that they did a collab with Diodora. The shoe was nineteen ninety nine, first of all, which is kind of crazy. I should have got multiple pairs. The, f- mm-hmm. the thing is, like, I mean, D- I feel like Foot Locker is the only retailer that carries Diodora, but in store, most of the time, like mm-hmm. that happens because the buyer gets it wrong. That's why it's nineteen ninety nine. Well, like, less than that, the sale price was... has nothing to do with that. Is more so what I'm saying. What like like you know what? I, like there was a time where there was a the guy that came into our store with the Amsterdam Air Max, yeah, one, yeah. which is absolutely nuts. This guy is a crazy sneaker collector, like mm-hmm. mythical kind of stuff. Has floms, whatever. It's you know crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, and he came into the store just like stopping by, checking it out. And then we had the black and white up tempos, mm-hmm. and like you could see it in his face, just like oh shoot, like these came back out, like what? And that was at the time that G Dragon was sort of pushing them too. Mm-hmm. That's a cool kind of moment. I don't know, but I can argue like both sides of that because like that I know for a fact that the up tempos were at Kith, like okay. in like higher end boutique stores. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's like I get where you're coming from with like the Diodora, but I don't think Diodoras really belong in Foot Locker. I think it's a cooler like sneaker type of person shoe, and the buyer just gets it wrong. They cater it towards the wrong demographic, and then hence why it's at nineteen ninety nine. Well, I mean, also the Diodors that those kind of stores buy are the lower tiered ones that retail for like eighty to ninety, a hundred dollars. True. And that is not where Diodora thrives. Right. Okay, that is a high performance yeah. or a high quality shoe that they they make. I agree. Fair enough. So yeah, that is true. If the retail is not above one eighty for a Diodora, mm-hmm. I don't know. I think I'm just looking for a way to hate on Foot Locker, and I'm yeah, they're buying. I uh, I understand that. Yeah. I really understand that. <laughs> no worries at all. Just to like like piggyback on what Torres was saying about like walking into like a shoe store. There was one shoe. Well, I, I, the, the era that I got excited to get into shoes, like into like the stores, like foot action, for example, was the Roche run. 
Really? Because, like, it was funny because, like, you know, it was such a hot shoe at the time. I think it was, like, 2016, 2015, and they had, like, you know, the core colorways, which, like, that black, the iguana green, the red. They green. had the calypsos. I think it calypsos, goes back even Calypsos, bro. This is crazy that you remember this. I think that's, like, 2012. 2012. Like, like way back. Like, yeah, a little bit 2016, earlier. 2016, Roshis were on their way out. Back when dinosaurs were there. Too. So let's say twelve and thirteen. Yeah, yeah. And the fact of the matter is, is that you know we're in the suburbs of New York, and like a lot of these Roche runs that we've seen are like actually in the city, and like I can't get to like the city, and they always have those mm-hmm. pairs. So I'm just always curious. I'm like, do you think a, a suburban store will get this? And then one day I actually walked in. They had the Calypsos and the Iguana Greens, and I was just like, yo, that's crazy that they got them. And then I was able to scoop them. And, like, I just remember also, like, do you remember the Yeezy colorway? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that the finish line had them, first come, first serve. Like, the one with the check on the with front? The, oh, man. Oh, I got to tell you this story. This is what? wild. Yeah, so when Sneaker News dropped that article that, like, yo, this shoe is coming out and it's coming at these stores, people went crazy. I used to love when they did that. No, people like went a list of, like, 11, absurd. 12 stores. Yeah, they, mm-hmm. absurd. Mm-hmm. So the one store that they named was Smith Haven Finish Line. <laughs> and I was just like, all yeah. right, I got to go. I got to go. They sold out at like 7 a.m. They didn't even wait till 10 a.m. when the mall opened. That's crazy. And it was all Stony Brook University students that camped out there Yeah. to pick up the shoes. I believe it. It was wild. That shoe was fire, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd buy that right now. I. Nah, I sold a couple years back. That's a good shoe. Yeah. You know what shoe? I feel like there was that shoe and there's another shoe that... Oh, shit. My bad. Um, You're good. It was another shoe that was <laughs> up there in terms of that level for the Roche one. Was that a Cheetah pair? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Drifted that one a couple months ago. Somewhere in okay. that box. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Size six, so you know. Uh, that's all right. Okay. But it's a really cool shoe to see in hand. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a shoe I'd pay two, three hundred dollars for in my size. Really? Yes. No hesitation. Fair enough. I, I I can I could actually get behind that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a really cool shoe. Yeah, no, I was a that was a time, man. I'm not gonna lie. Like yeah. that was a time where like I actually made it like a, like like a priority to get to the mall or get to these stores at least twice a week, mm-hmm. mm. just to hopefully be able to catch like Roche Run colorways. See, like I never really had money at all, so I was never really a buyer. I, w- I would only buy what's close to me, so like from friends and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but at that time, I used to love going onto the sites and seeing like where things would release. Oh yeah, and just praying it would be somewhere around here, knowing damn well I got no, I'm not getting it at all. Mm-hmm. I remember I was just so excited, and I tricked my parents into like saying I needed they they needed like new plates or something, and they should go to the outlets. So we ended up going, and it had the uh, the preheat co- uh, KD six. Oh wow! They came out at the Deer Park oh, outlets when the B Grays did a little run. Mm. Yeah. That was a hot moment, man. There was a lot of B-grade stuff. I remember it would be like South Carolina, Florida, Deer Park. And I'm like, what? (laughs) What? And I remember I went in there like, and then my mom's like, ask him, ask him. I'm like, do you guys have the the KD6? And he's like, you know, they give you that laugh like, dumb kid. (laughs) You know nothing. It was like 6 p.m. of the the day. And I was like, all right, sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness. Sorry for trying. Do you guys have like, since we're on the topic of like outlets, um, because I don't think that, I haven't found anything at the outlet like crazy heat wise have you guys had like a pickup or have you seen something at the outlet you were like whoa this is there mm, off the top of my head nothing nothing crazy for me i mean i've seen sneakers priced ridiculously low at like regular stores like mm-hmm. i sent you guys the picture where i saw the tour yellow forest for like 160 granted it was beat but like still mm-hmm. 160 easy soul swap like is that a, that's an oxymoron in my opinion Easy soul swap. You think that's a? <laughs> how is that? An, <laughs> that is a difficult I mean, to, procedure. To me, it's the easy soul swap. I'm just like, hey, like I'm giving you four. Yeah. For this. Okay. <laughs> you know that, that soul swapping is not fun. I picked up a job for that like right before we started this podcast, and I called my friend. I'm just like, I'm never doing this for you again. <laughs> I absolutely hated it. It was the bread eleven, right? Yep. The freaking bread eleven. Mm-hmm. And of course, the outsole was separated. The midsole separated from the outsole. <laughs> mm-hmm. Midsole separated from the actual shoe. Oh man. Like, oh. They were talking. They were yapping, bro. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But nah, I, I can't really uh, name anything off the top of my head from an, an outlet. I know I've definitely had good I feel like finds. New, I feel like New York, it's it's hard. Like, all that all that stuff I see about, like, outlet finds is, like, in the Midwest. Yeah. There's stuff. I think probably my favorite outlet find would be uh, the New Balance 992 Burgundy or Maroon. 
Oh, that's a good color. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a really, really good shoe. It's size 8, though. Oh. That's a really good shoe. You sold it? I didn't buy it. Oh. It didn't go for money. It went for like 175 well, and I think retail was like 180 Now it's like 3 Yeah, I've, that's another shoe. I'll probably buy that right after this podcast. not going to lie. I need that. <laughs> no, there was, a, there was a good price for one of them. A really that's good crazy. price. But um, besides that, I remember the week prior to that when I was like, yo, like no one knows about New Balance. I'm the only guy. I'm gonna go to the outlets every week and find something. But the week before that, I found a bodega like fisherman's um, vest collab with New Balance, Ooh, okay. and that was on the clearance rack, so it was like on sale plus oh, another thirty yeah. percent off. Mm-hmm. Plus, you know, I signed up another email, so I got it for like thirty something bucks, and then resold it for like one seventy five. Something say. like I like that. Yeah. Okay, for four fees, probably got like one forty or something like that. That's cool. not bad. But cool, cool pickup, you know. Yeah, yeah. Cool if pickup. Now I would have bought that off you. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember when I had it? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Try to get Ian to buy it. And he was just like, nah. And I was like, bro, really? this, is, this is you. You don't understand. Like, this is you. <laughs> this is you. Nah, but yeah, no. Of, speaking of sale, though, you saw everything $20 easy? Yeah. I mean. I saw that, yeah. Did you guys get anything? What? Nah. What? I don't know. I've if this never is bought a Yeezy product. Really, Torres? No. Never? I like the knit runner. Oh, oh like I do. Man, do I regret that? I've never felt so stupid than when I put that shoe on. Really? Because I like the uh, the knit runner like high. I forgot what the word is. Yeah, like the boots. Yeah, it's, it was like it, really yeah. aggressive, totally unwearable. But I thought it was cool. So then they came out with it just the low. I put it on, and it looks so comfortable, and it is so not. Mm, at so all. It is like a sock I, over styrofoam. After you said that, funnily enough, like probably a month later, I bought a pair. And I was like, yeah, this is not it. But they look cool, though. Yeah, it looked very mm-hmm. cool. They look great uh, on websites. They yeah. do their thing. Yeah. But in hand, it's just, no. I didn't know that. I thought you... Thought I'm you not really the biggest... Product. I'm a... Uh, I'm a... I like the old Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> not the new Kanye? Not, I'm not a big fan of him currently, okay. unfortunately. But let's not make this somewhat political. I know. You know? Fair enough. Yeah. But I, I think when I saw that move, like $20 now, that's sort of the game that you sign up for when you buy Yeezy products, in my opinion. Like, like not an ounce of me was like, oh, my God, what? Like, I was like, okay, yeah, I, I get it. Agree with, with I don't know. Like, I don't. You disagree? Like, I get it. For, like, you, you're saying I get it. From what sense? Like, that all of this stuff is just worth that much? or like- No, no. It's just more so, like, everything is just subject to anything. Like, you you buy, like, a black Balenciaga Yeezy hoodie for $900, and the next week it's the like same thing, but it says Gap instead for much oh, lower. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I understand where you come from. Like, nothing's re- – like, I don't want to say not safe, but it's just so, like, fluid, and it's always moving, and you never know what's going to yeah. happen. Mm-hmm. It's very, like, him currently. So right. I'm just not – never know what's going to happen. Did you want to go to that listening party? I thought about it. There is no chance. But then part of me is just like, it's a listening party. Like, I think that I, was a controlled riot. Why would I pay $250 to... <laughs> 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 why would I pay $250 to sit there with... Like, not even sit there with them, but yeah. sit there in the crowd, look at them, mm-hmm. listening to their own music. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, like that... When I when I really said that out loud, I was like, "Yeah, no, that's." But I do think it would have been a really cool thing to sort of tell my kids. That's just a far statement. I doubt I'll ever have kids. That's just another conversation. But, um, <laughs> tell my dogs in many years to come. Like, yeah, I was at the listening party and this album came out, but like at the same time, like I I just not a fan of his, so yeah. mm-hmm. I don't really care too much. Okay. I think the best part was saying that you went. Yeah, probably. You know? Yeah, it was like a more of like a I was in the area in the vicinity type yeah. of thing. You know but what I mean? But I'm not really a concert kind of guy. Would you like, have gone to Usher? Whew. Yo, freaking Usher, Ooh. man! Yo, that was a performance, man. Was it a performance? Oh, are was you kidding it? me? No, look, I, I, I can't. Like, I hold Alicia Keys to such a high freaking goddess like standard. Calm down, calm down, Usher. Calm down. The guy was old. Like, I was like, stop, stop, stop. So, if you're Swiss Beats, what are you, what are you saying? I am telling my friend what happened. I'm gonna say, hey, did you watch Super Bowl? He said, yes, I did. So you know what you have to do? Yes, yes, I do. Just like that. Just like that. 
Swizz Beats friends now need to, because Swizz can't do nothing. Swizz can't do nothing at all. He's going to pull Matt Barnes. Usher's bugging, bro. Usher's bugging. And he got married that same weekend. I do, oh, yeah, that's wild. What? Yeah. Like, I, yeah, no. But, interesting enough, if my boo comes on the radio, I will be singing my ass off. Yep. You know, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I'm a big Usher fan, but mm-hmm. that's just wild. That's wild, man. But you see those one of ones, though? The chrome, silver chrome one of ones I'm by never the super of chrome. Okay, but, okay, so like, you know the 11s? Yes. That he used to have? Because he had like a, a pack, I forgot, it was 11s and another different shoe where it was all liquid gold. And like, yeah. this was Usher's thing, like, this is a shoe for him, it's a mm-hmm. PE. Mm-hmm. Like, that is really cool. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, Nike is a very timely company, which they just signed Kai Sinat, which I think is very, that very cool. Sick. I think that's sick. really in, cool. In my opinion, actually, he, he's probably making the bag, but like, I... Maybe maybe I'm just like. But you know how much influence the guy has. Yeah, I understand, but like maybe I'm speaking from a point of like interest in like genuine interest in sneakers, which like all due respect to him, I don't think like, he really has. I don't think you should get a signature shoe, but like to get him on the line but of like, your. I wouldn't want to wear. Yeah. Like you, but then again, they're offering you a bag, so it makes sense. Are oh, you saying from his point of view? Like, yeah, I probably wouldn't want to be. If I'm Kai, I probably wouldn't want to be tied down to one brand for too long. But, like, Nike's sort of, like, that brand. Like, what's the... Uh, you're not going to go New Balance. not going to go Asics. Like, like what's yeah. what else are you going to do? True. Mm-hmm. True. You know? But I just I just I think that they're very timely in the decision that they make. And, like, for Usher to have a liquid gold retro... Multiple retros sort of pack is huge. And then for him to now... Headline the Super Bowl halftime show is huge. And, like... If I'm Nike, I'm either view- viewing that as a slap in the face because, like, you should have contacted us to make you a shoe for that, or vice versa. Did Usher do that? And then Nike said, nah, like, you're not it anymore, and we don't really want to do that. Mm-hmm. Because, like, Shoe Surgeon, of course, does amazing things, mm-hmm. really cool stuff, but, mm-hmm. like, I don't even think it, it compares in the slightest to having a PE of that level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so I sort of saw that, and then I was like, oh, my God, Chrome 4? No way. Like, mm-hmm. it totally makes sense. Playing off the Liquid Gold 4, I love it. And then you sent the post of the mm-hmm. shoe search, and I was just like, damn. Yeah. He's not it anymore. The man's not it anymore. Mm-hmm. You don't – but, like, you don't think Kai's getting his own – well, let me not say signature sneaker, but, like, colorways. Because, like, the way I look at it is, like, Nigel Sylvester has his own colorways. <laughs> But he's a He's an athlete, yeah, but he has nowhere near the same amount of influence as Kai. But like not always people it's not always a thing that you get your own signature shoe. Because I'm thinking about I'm influence. Not saying, I'm not saying signature shoe, I'm saying just like colorway. Like his own like Of what shoe though? I don't really even see do him wearing for... Nikes that much. Yeah, that's that that was my other thing where it's like, all right, you signed this brand deal, like now you're just gonna be pushing Nike. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's got the tech. Yeah. He, that he would be kind of cool, though. He like a, like a Kai clothing line, maybe, or something. I doubt that. Or, or Nike tech. Like a Nike tech Kai. Whatever it is, I don't think there is a sort of way to maneuver it where it's not going to be ultra corny. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But, like, I do think they're going to do a better job than Adidas did with Ninja, which is the only thing I can really compare it to. Because sure. Ninja got his own shoe. Yeah. Man, yeah. that thing was terrible. Yeah. yeah. I lied. Actually, like if it was a ninja shoe, it was actually a pretty cool shoe. It's sort of, it, it was. It it was chunky, it had a good fit, quality materials, mm-hmm. lots of different suede, the, the purple, like eggplant sort of pl- it just mm-hmm. didn't need to happen. Yeah. At all. You know, he I don't he was big, but I don't think he was that big. Mm-hmm. So but I, I see them I see them possibly doing an Air Force One for Kai. I think if they were it'd have to be in the realm of like a... Like how Drake did his Air Force One, with like all white, but then different little details yeah. throughout. I think right. that'd be the most tasteful thing to do. Mm-hmm. I doubt it'll actually happen. Right. But for him to actually wear something like that, mm-hmm. yeah, I guess. What is he gonna wear? <laughs> Shoes. You know? But fair enough. No, nah, but overall, that's a power move by Nike, though. To no, it definitely to pick is. up the number one streamer, in my opinion, and yeah, the most like, competent. Yeah. Do they still have Taylor Swift? Does anyone know? Nike, no. Nike. She was wearing New Balance. She's wearing New Balance, bro. Oh shit! Like, yeah, the five fifties. I forgot. Five fifties. Those red five fifties. Well, she was in that commercial with Drake, the Nike commercial. No, it was uh, Apple Music. 
It wasn't Nike. It was they went Nike. Yeah, the Nike Center Shoes Dry Fit, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was I was always on it. I was always on it. I got my your bad. back, I got my your bad. bad. Instant fact check. Let me ask Torres something real quick oh, so I can laugh. Oh, God. <laughs> 13. Now I'm playing. You got a sneaker of the week? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Our favorite segment here at the Double Knotted Podcast, it is the sneaker of the week. And um, I, want me to start the ball off? I'll start it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would go first, but I think you should. Yeah. Um, I sent it in the chat earlier. It's the um, New Balance 1000. And they came out with like so uh, Teddy would do like a like a rant on his stories and just keep posting random stuff. And like I know that there's like a metallic colorway that looks like an eggplant, like a purple uh-huh. metallic, yeah. and then this like white with the yellow, navy blue, and yellow. I, I think it looks about, sick. Like I think they look really, really good. And um, is it a uh, matted? Uh oh, this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Or it's silver. I think it's all silver shoe. You're gonna wear that? I would rock it to be honest with some gray one. sweats. I like that one. I I think that's a really cool shoe. It's one of those like, oh, this is cool. Put it right back for you. For me, at for least. You? I would like to see you wear that. Yeah. But I mean, you had those uh, ALDs, right? The eight whatevers. Yeah, I, I. But it was a it was a small run. It was a small run. It yeah. Was a small. I, I'm I'm feeling the same thing. I I think that's like a chunky ass spirit on. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it has those like sort of. The pods. Pods. Yeah. yeah. I don't feel you. I'll give them a shot, though. I'll give these a shot. Fair you, enough. You're going to buy them? I'll buy them, yeah. Yeah, definitely bring them in. Mm-hmm. Check them out. Yeah. See what the fit's like. Tim, um, what you got? I switch over to the Hoka Wave, man. Damn. Lots of pairs of Hokas today. Very nice. Um, but money. This... Money, 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 money. My fate. I, I'm probably saying this wrong. My fate speed, too. It looks like a Solomon. Kind of. On the upper. In terms of the pattern, of course. Mm-hmm. But then, like... It goes back into the Hoka vibe. Is it a trail shoe? I think so. Hmm. Yeah. Pass this over to Kyle. Let me see. I don't that. think he saw Let's it. This is what we're working with. I, I can't hold any phones without a case. Some of the Ooh, crazy these things. are cool. I like the uppers, man. They yeah. definitely look like a trail shoe, like an Good ultra, one. ultra running shoe. These are nice. Hmm. I like that. I co signed them. Those up. Okay. Bet. I'm going to go with an oldie but a goodie. You know, yeah. do your homework on one of my favorite shoes of all time La Mescla 98. Okay. It's it's. I think it's one of the greatest shoes ever made. Probably you my favorite shoe. Sent it in the chat. <laughs> in my collection. You sent it in the chat, and Kyle was laughing because I sent it for you. Someone was selling. Someone was. I think District One had like a free pair. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and yes, Kyle yes, was just yes. laughing, and I'm like, Nah, yeah. that shoe. That shoe means a lot to this guy. No, I love that shoe. <laughs> I absolutely love that. I think the the shoe. It looks good optically. It's, yeah. it's like a J Cole song. You know. Mm-hmm. It sounds good, but it also means something. Many times the song could mean something, but it doesn't sound good. Mm-hmm. Or it sounds really good, and you're like, what the hell are you saying? Yeah. This shoe, it has a story behind it. I really like her. She liked one of my Instagram posts. I don't know why, but if anyone knows it, her? figure that out. She did. Oh, I thought you meant like her. No. <laughs> I, I thought you meant like her. Not like, the yeah, story, like, no. We were on the same page. Abby thought- <laughs> Serrano. The, was it? Yeah, yeah, I know. I know yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do remember. But no, nah, that shoe is absolutely amazing. I love the tones on it. Everything means something. I don't want to spoil it, but if you're looking for a shoe to sort of get that spark going again, that's a great shoe to look up okay. and learn Solid. about. Cool. Solid. I like that, Torres. Yeah. I like that. But uh, if you made it this far in the episode, I do want to thank you for tapping in. But also, I want to do add. We're going to be on YouTube. We're going to yes. be pushing YouTube now. Yes. So make sure if you are on YouTube, subscribe. We're going to put some shorts up there as well and do some other side videos and cool stuff as well. So You called me what? Now I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> but till next time, I'm your host, Colin Riquez. Anthony Torres. Tomorrow, Lajo. We'll catch y'all later. Peace. Peace.